We do this today not just as a legal requirement, but we do it as a testimony unto this couple's love and fellowship with one another, but most importantly, with God. You've been invited here today as witnesses of this act of worship committed by both Mikhail and Michelle before our God. You've also been summoned here to join in this worship ceremony as we glorify the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of every Christian home. Let us hear the word of God. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not intolerable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. Love bears all things. Love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And as for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Our God of love has established marriage as a symbol of Christ's perfect relationship with his body, the church. We have come to bring you, bring, bring, we've come to bring you as one before our Heavenly Father. Christian marriage is not um, merely living with each other. It is two persons uniting and joining hands to serve God. His kingdom first, seeking his righteousness, and he will add all things to you. Do not expect perfection from each other. That belongs solely to God. You need not to minimize each other's weaknesses, but always be swift to praise and magnify each other. Point out one another's beauty and strength. See each other through kind and patient eyes. God will lead you into each and every situation. Those that are not so kind, he will use to build character as you walk together. As you look to him, he will give you through your tears, through your tender hurts and mercy with one another, compassion during times of failure and rejoicing during times of goodness. He is, he's walking with you today to encourage you to walk with him. He may remain, he must remain the central figure in your lives. May you never take each other's love for granted, but always experience the wonderful, wonderful work of our God as he has chosen you for one another. When life is done, may you have found through this journey that hand of mercy, thanksgiving for each other, and a continued love that only God himself can separate. This couple has chosen to initiate their own vows. I'm going to invite both of you this time to turn to one another. And Michelle, I'm sorry, Michelle, if you would go first and share your vows with Michelle.
I look at you, and I can't help but feel the same. Here you are, my son, for believing that I would take care of you. All the things from him come so effortless. No strife, no struggle, no fight, just love. I'm not naive to the fact that there will be hard times and disagreements, such as life. But for this moment, let me be naive. Naive enough to believe that our biggest arguments will continue to be over where they eat. <laughs> naive enough to believe that we'll always fall asleep on the couch while two parts of the rest. <laughs> naive enough to believe that our biggest fears continue to come from roller coasters. Naive enough to believe that we'll always find a way to make Friday date night. Naive enough to believe that our biggest issues will continue to come from our singing. <laughs> Naive enough to believe that I will always see eye to eye in your heels or in your class. <laughs> Since December 2nd, 2017, I've had your picture as a home screen on my phone, serving as a reminder of my prize. That's 18 months, 523 days, 12,552 hours, 7,553,200. Oh, Minutes. From that day, that conversation, that moment, I knew that you, Michelle, were what I searched for. 18 months, 523 days, 12,000 hours, and over 750,000 minutes. Now I send seconds away from returning with you. At this point, I'm sure that my face is streaming with tears, but again, let me be naive enough to believe that we'll only share tears of joy now and forevermore. As naive as this may be, I make this single vow, and it remains true. I can only, I can't do everything, but I'll do anything for you. And now before the all-knowing God, and in the presence of these witnesses, will you, Mikhail Carlin, take Michelle Williams to be your beloved wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in joy and in sorrow? Preserve her with this union, holy and unbroken, until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, or until God, by death, shall separate you. Shall. 
And now for the all-knowing God, and in the presence of these witnesses, will you, Michelle Williams, take Mikel Carpenter to be your wedded husband? Will you love and comfort him, honor him, keep him in joy and in sorrow, preserve him with this union, holy and unbroken, until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, or until death shall separate. Let's pray. Oh, gracious and eternal God, again we come before you, Master, with the celebration of these ring vows. Lord God, I pray that these symbols that I hold now in the palm of my hand will be a, a moment of resemblance, of remembrance of this time, this moment, the everlasting love of this couple coming together under your mighty name. In the Sunday we pray. Amen. Amen.
This ring, this ring I give to you as a token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. This ring, this ring, come on, kid. This ring, this ring, I give to you, I give to you, as a token, as a token, and pledge of our constant, of our constant faith, faith, and abiding love. Gracious God, Father, we have paused here at this union at this time again to pray your blessings upon both Michael and the Shep. They found themselves being joined together in holy matrimony. Pray, God, that as we have done our best to honor you during this time and moment of worship, that you will begin a new life with both of them as one flesh, one spirit, and one God. Sunday we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, as much as Michael and Michelle have consented in holy wedlock and have witnessed that same before God and these witnesses, have pledged their faith to each other, and have declared the same by joining of hands, making vows, and giving and receiving of rings. By the power vested in me, by God and the state of Mississippi. I now pronounce you as husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whom God has joined together, let no man put aside. May I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Mikhail Cobb.